Good morning, and today I am off to the Isle of Arran on a Earth Sciences field trip. Woohoo! Um, I'm not really sure what to expect. I've kind of got mixed feelings about it. Like, I'm not really into the whole field work side of Earth Sciences. You probably know by now that Earth Sciences isn't my favourite module, but there are interesting parts. And it might be really fun just to go for, it's like, just over a week long it might be really fun I might suddenly really enjoy it so we'll see but the coach leaves from Cambridge so it's really early now because I'm having to drive up to Cambridge so early like I got up at five o'clock this morning five o'clock it's just too early for me way too early it's okay because we've got the seat warmers on in the car so makes things a bit better and yeah looking forward to it eventually the sun rose and i joined the coach in cambridge it was a fairly comfy coach trip about eight hours from cambridge to air where we were staying as we got further north we saw lots of hills and the clouds did seem to increase as well unfortunately but yeah, the most thing we saw was sheep actually. Sheep were everywhere. So we spent our first night in a hotel on the mainland. It was very pleasant. We had twin rooms and an ensuite bathroom. Yeah, I'll look back on that place fondly. And then for our first day on the field, we were looking at rocks on the Ayrshire coast, hence why we stayed on the mainland. It was a bit of a shock actually. It was really muddy. Little did I know what was to come actually. And my shiny new boots were not so shiny after that. We also walked down slippery rocks and had to climb over them with quite steep drops next to them. When the trip leader first told us that you're going to climb down there, I, I laughed. I, I thought he was joking. <laughs> we got a ferry over to Arran later that day. It wasn't the most pleasant experience. The sea was quite rough, it was very blowy outside and I did feel a little seasick but it's fine. It was only an hour long. Throughout the week the general setup was we'd walk for a bit, stop at a rock outcrop, rock a bit more, stop at another rock outcrop. The walks could be up to 11 miles per day, so my fitness levels were really put to the test. We stayed at a field centre in the north of the island. It wasn't as luxury as the hotel. We were in a room of six with bunk beds, there were communal showers and toilets down the corridor. We were encouraged to look over all of the outcrops on both a macro and micro scale and we made notes of our observations and drew field sketches. My vision of a perfectly neat field notebook was pretty much ruined on the first day. The combination of wind, rain, cold hands which made it difficult to write made my book very battered and messy. However, my feedback I got here from one of the demonstrators wasn't too bad though, I must say. They said good work. There were seven demonstrators on the trip to help out about 30 students. The demonstrators were members of the Earth Department and PhD students, and they were a great source of knowledge. A lot of our interpretations were basically guesswork, so we did need a little bit of guidance. In the evenings, we'd all taken turns giving presentations on the stuff we'd seen that day. We often went to a pub that was 15 minutes down the road from the field centre. It was a great place to socialise. We did have to take torches though because the roads weren't lit on the way there. We were looking at the features such as younging direction, bedding planes, cleavage planes, fossils, grain shapes, size distributions of grains, crystal shape, just to give you an idea. We were looking at rock outcrops all over the island so we were often driven by a private hire bus to our destination and then dropped off and then picked up at the end of the day after a day of lots of walking. It wasn't just any old walking though. Oh no, we were going scrambling over boulders. We were walking through bogs. It was a whole new experience, but I have to say, I'm really proud of myself for doing it. You should have seen the mudslide I went down. Here we are walking back through Loch Ranza, back to the field centre after a day on the field. It was really beautiful, the sun had come out on this day. The scenery was just amazing. However, according to Wikipedia, Loch Ranza is actually the village with the least hours of sunshine in the UK, which I thought was quite funny. Here are some of the really cute lambs that were all over the island. They just like ran around after their mums, it was so cute. Here we see the dune at Drama Dune, which is an example of a sill. We had a field sketching competition of this. Art is not my forte, so 
There were lots of golf courses all over the island. It's quite funny actually. My grandparents went on a golfing holiday to the Isle of Arran many years ago, so I can just imagine them on that course. Very scenic. About halfway through the trip we had a meal paid for by BP, it was three course, we had a little bit of wine as well, we had the all famous popcorn salad, and yeah it was good. Although the food at the field centre wasn't too bad, they gave us a packed lunch every day and there was plenty of it, they always offered seconds at dinner. We saw a few impressive trace fossils while on the trip, we saw arthropod tracks, think giant millipede, and also archosaur footprints, and it was basically a dinosaur right? This is the valley that we were mapping on one of the last days of the trip. It was a 4 km squared area, we were given a team of 8 and we all went out searching for contacts between different rock outcrops for the day. I honestly laughed so much that day. We spent so much time stuck in fog, not knowing where we were going. We walked up to the top of the hill because we'd literally just given up on geology and then actually stumbled upon a sheared basalt outcrop that no one else saw so we actually fluked it but it was still fun. The trip was a great opportunity to meet people from other colleges, people who are at different colleges in Cambridge and not at Jesus. Everyone was so friendly and I made really good friends. Thank you to all of them for making the trip so great. Here is my group's completed map. The different colours represent different rock outcrops. We had to present it to the rest of the group that evening with a proposed geological history of the area. On the last day of the trip, we were given options of what we wanted to do. I chose the easy option, apparently, of climbing Goatfell Mountain. Let me tell you, it was exhausting, but the views were amazing. <laughs> Here it was really misty at the top. It's an experience I wouldn't have got elsewhere, I'm like so proud. Like I never would have thought to climb a mountain before of my own accord. Funnily enough, I reckon I got the best mobile signal all week at the top of that mountain. So whilst I may whine and complain about having to go on an earth sciences field trip, doing hiking, looking at rocks, saying it's not my thing, actually it was a great experience and I'm so glad I've done it. I feel like I've been on an adventure and I've learned so much. Although I think it's probably a one-time thing. <laughs> so thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!